Not only am I gonna show you guys my hairstyle for 2021, but to those of you with the stubborn side hairs, yup, the Asians, yeah, the Filipinos, I know you guys understand me clearly. I'm gonna teach you guys the tips and tricks to train your hairs to come down with your scalp. Let's get it started. What is good, y'all? Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again to another video here on Patrona Nice. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys have been consistently coming, welcome once again. Yes, I've gotten questions. I've gotten asked how I style my hair, what I do. And I guess it's time to give y'all an update. I uploaded a video around a year, year and a half ago of how I did my hair. As you can see here, um, I've had my hair up, kind of going forwards, faded, skin fade on the side. And then eventually as time went on near the end of that phase of the hairstyle, I started growing up my side hairs. But yeah, I told my barber, I was like, you know what? Do the skin fade, like a low, it has to be a little bit lower, a lower medium skin fade. And as you come up, have it blend with the top of the side of the hairs and then so I can train it to come down and then he figured out exactly what I was talking about my hair has been a little bit tricky so I did that haircut for like four or five months it, it, it turned out well it's I started training it and I started having going forward and then within the last two months I was like you know what I kind of want to grow out my hair and see exactly what I can do with it so that's exactly what I've been doing I've been slicking it back I've been going backwards like that I've been styling it to the side whatever my hair does sometimes it'll middle part which I love so yeah I'm just trying out this new journey I've never personally grown out my hair that much I've never done it so I was like you know what I gotta try something new I've always had the side fade I've always had the pompadour or I've always had the quiff I even had a top knot way back when guys look at this photo <laughs> look at this photo man look at that buzz cut that lineup was clean but like I promised, I'm gonna show you guys how I get this hairstyle and what my hairstyle is and how I get these side hairs to come down. So first step is when you get out of the shower, pat dry it, don't go crazy with it because you don't wanna dry out your hair. But yeah, as you guys can see, man, out of the shower, I've been training them my hair for like months now and it still likes to puff out. So pat dry it and once it's almost dry, I have this product right here. This product is an absolute game changer. It makes your hair super soft. It is 100% argan oil and Moroccan oil. I got mine from Amazon. I'll link you guys where I got it or which one I got. It was like only 12 bucks, but it is super good for your hair. It nourishes it, conditions it. It just adds nutrients to your hair and uh, it actually also works as a heat protectant. So I do like two, three pumps of that and I get it all over my hair and I get it on the side of my hair. and. Uh, I just evenly distribute it to the roots of my hair, to the ends of it. And then this actually works as a heat protectant. So like I said, my hair is super voluminous, super thick. The, I don't personally use a blow dryer to style my hair, um, but I understand that if some people want to achieve the voluminous look that I have, you kind of have to do a blow dry type of thing. So you can use this argan oil as a heat protectant. And then when you blow dry it, um, you can actually blow dry it to come down exactly as the direction that you want the side hairs to be. And obviously blow dry the top also because this oil works so well that it tends to flatten out your hair. So if you don't blow dry it, you'll lose a little bit of that volume. And you can already see how much that helped, how much the argan oil helped, how much the blow drying. And I didn't blow dry for that long, maybe two minutes, two, three minutes. You don't need to blow dry for that long. You don't want to kill your hair. So the next tip and trick that I learned was Yes sir, the classic beanie, the beanie man. So you can apply this without even the blow dryer, you can blow dry after the beanie, or you can blow dry it before. I like to blow dry before and after, um, if I were you guys. This just helps flatten everything out. I accidentally learned this process because during quarantine, I was so lazy to do my hair. There was, I hadn't had a haircut in so long. So I was like, you know, I'm just throwing a beanie. And I threw a beanie on and it flattened my hair out. And that's when it kind of hit me. I was like, you know what? This could help the struggle that all Filipinos have, all Asians have with our hair, man. I'm tired of looking at ah! porcupine, looking like a porcupine. So you know what? This beanie is clutch. I'm here to tell you guys, you don't need to have it on for long. As you can see, I threw it on. I, I threw it on for 20 minutes, only 20 minutes. You can do it overnight, after you shower, whatever it may be, you can throw it on and I promise you it will help flatten out your hair. As I showed you guys earlier, my hair was like going forward. So it had been trained like that for a year and a half. So the beanie actually helped train my hairs going backwards also at the top because I had been so used to it going that way. I was like, you know, what? I want to grow it out. I want to slick it back. So this actually helped with the top also along with the sides of my hair. You don't need to do long, 20 minutes tops, 20 minutes tops. Ooh, beanie on, you can just wait for the 20 minutes, do a little dance break thing. Stop it, get some help. 
as you guys can see, look how flat that's gotten. We don't, we haven't even put any wax or pomade yet. And as far as the uh, hair product goes, I've been using this hair product for so long. It's called the Rudy's Clay Pomade. First discovered it at Urban Outfitters, but they also have an Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below. It'll get here in like two days. It's a four ounce for 20 bucks, and you honestly don't even use that much. You just do a little scoop of like a nickel size, two to three of those, and I promise you, you'll be good. I don't have it all organized yet. I just kind of evenly distribute it and make sure every part of my hair gets it. As you can see, I push it down exactly as how I want my hair to grow. So I do it the same direction that I was blow drying. And I promise you, this will help cement the blow drying, the beanie effect that you've been applying to your hair. It's, it's a super strong hold and it's a matte finish, which is I like. And I like to do a finger comb look and style. So as you guys can see, man, it helps so much. It helps so much. The side hairs are completely down. And as I'm growing out my hair, it's gonna naturally, naturally train and teach itself, you know what, I gotta start going this way, I gotta start going backwards. I can't be sticking out because the heat and the beanie and the product is just forcing the hairs to come down. It's just training, it's like working out. You just train it to go a certain way and I promise you guys, this helps, this works. Take it from me, myself, this is the longest the sides of my hairs have been and they're not sticking out. I even like to do it to the side, depending how I'm feeling. So I don't even know exactly where I'm gonna go with it. I might grow it out for a full man bun. I might grow it out for a full, I don't know. I might get a perm. Who knows what I'll do. But I'm just trying to switch it up, y'all. I encourage you guys, 2021, switch up your hairstyle. Don't be bound up to what 2019, 2020 looks were. Switch it up, switch it up. It is not bad to switch it up. So let's review it. First, you're gonna need the argan oil. So when you get out the shower, when your hair is just a little bit damp, you apply it evenly, blow dry it exactly in the direction you want it to go. And then second, you can do the beanie to help flatten it out. And then lastly, get a Stronghold product to help cement it. You don't need hairspray, just get a Stronghold product. Or you can do a medium hold product and then do hairspray. But whatever it may be, get a Stronghold product to help cement the stubborn side hair from growing out, looking like a porcupine. I promise you guys this will work. I promise you guys this will help. Let me know what you guys think of my hairstyle, what you guys think of the tips and tricks, the products I use. Let me know, man. I really do appreciate the insight. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys want to see, man. If you guys want to see more hair videos, I do uh, streetwear, I do uh, thrifting, I do vlogging, I do fashion. So let me know what you guys think exactly. Comment down below. If you guys haven't already followed me on Instagram, go ahead. That's my main Instagram and then I have also my outfit Instagram. So hit me up on there and if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I love y'all so much. You guys know what it is. Patron on Ice. I am out of here and I'll see y'all later. Let's go. Side hairs, come down. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me and my heart started jumping. And don't ever get it because baby, they think it's just casual loving. You better believe I ain't gonna leave on you all of a sudden